Okay, boys and girls, Dan here, sports fans. Day two, Sapphire 2012 rap with the usual reprobates. Okay, what do we think? Wow, was what an incredible day today. We had some great meetings. I mean, executive level meetings, unbelievable. We heard a lot of stories, sometimes the same story, but different type of message. So we got to get some clear definitions on certain areas. So basically pretty chaotic, right? Yes. Yeah, I, think I would <laughs> agree with the chaos as the theme of the day, but you know, multiple executives giving us various levels of detail and you know, information not flowing consistently, but still great information. And I think SAP did a, did a good job. John, I haven't got arms long enough for you, mate. I'll grab it myself. I'll try and be a bit more specific because these guys are being really wishy-washy. They're very yeah. fluffy, aren't they? <laughs> I know. It's like we, 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 kill them we, we right. talked about some stuff today. No, I mean, <laughs> we've been talking about the BW on Hannah thing. That, yep. That's the big thing. It's going to be the big thing for this year. Um, SAP's behind it, and that's what we learned today, is everyone's behind it. There's a great big push. That's a good thing. Uh, the flip side to that is, I think, uh, whilst there's a shared common vision, the details behind that vary when you talk from person to person. You mean they suck? Come on. I can't, you know I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I always have like the top thing I'm belly aching about, and for a pretty long time that's been developer engagement. But as of tomorrow, I might have to put that a little further down the list and shut up a little bit because I think we're going to hear some very good things tomorrow about that, and I see some progress. So now I think my top belly aching issue, and you guys probably won't object, is going to be around HANA partner enablement because if, if SAP doesn't engage some of their trusted partners around HANA, they're not going to hit their numbers and they're not going to get the jobs done. Now the good news is, it looks like on the on the high end, the executive high end, we see a lot of buy-in around that. The question is, is that going to get implemented and trickle down way all the way down where you guys need to see it? So, we'll see. So, ten percent of BW install base is about seventeen hundred customers. If Hannah has to reach seventeen hundred BW customers this year on an average, it still means like four or five deals a day which SAP can't sell by themselves. Even if SAP sells, SAP can't deliver by themselves, so partners are key to this process. Question is, are partners given enough access, ability, sales enablement to do so? My answer at the moment is no, we haven't, but SAP has to get that right. If but there's a ramp up. There's, a, there's absolutely a ramp up time required for partners to... to, to it's a to, GA product though, right? Well, yeah. The thing That's is, on the education side, everything has to be, the message has to be clearer. The l legalities that we heard around the incentive credit, everything, that has to be Solve on out. paper and it has to be solved. Okay. Right. So the SIs have had, you've had your opportunity to bellyache, right? So thank you very much. We do like these things. Um, anything on the cloud that you, you found or anything that um, last Algar has said that you found either in incredibly interesting or incredibly uninteresting? Go on, up your end first, John. Uh, well, um, on the interesting side, uh, by design, a little bit of clarity. I mean, we, we didn't even know if by design was really on the forward roadmap for this company in a clear sense, and I think we got that today. We know um, what we don't really know. I'm still confused about the cloud strategy. I mean, we have a meeting with Lars tomorrow, so hopefully I will be a little less confused. Does anyone here have clarity? Uh, Not better than yesterday. Too many things. For too many people. Go on, John. You take it. I, I've got the mic, so I'm going yeah, to. I'm going to. I'm going to talk. Go for I, mean, it. I mean, a senior exec walked up to me yesterday. He said, "I think I understand your perspective on the cloud strategy. It's a little cloudy still, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. and that's exactly how I feel about it. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty um, senior. A pretty senior guy. And but what I like about it is they've put a single person in charge. It's Lars. You know, he's he's not a proven executive in the SAP world yet. He's got to make his his noise, but he's given the responsibility and uh, the accountability to do that. I think that's the first step. The next thing they've got to do is sell success factors into the install into the install base, whilst delivering out a cloud strategy. I mean, we've got to give them six months on it. That's my not my take. What I was most impressed by was the fact that success factors could implement all the SAP cloud offerings, and the SAP could in, you know uh, implement all the success factors solutions in quick time, like in in few weeks or couple of months. That is, is a good story. Now they need to do that with a few clients by say TechEd or something to, to show that it's a credible story, but I love that part of the, the keynote really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with uh, with Lars, they have a guy, like like they said, we have a guy that can make revenue on $8 a user work, 
right? They didn't know how to do that. Now they have a person. I just hope that Waldorf will let them, will let him work, will let him do his thing to get this to work. As we know, Waldorf can get into the way. I've got a question for Dennis, actually, before he grabs the mic. Dennis, the, the other thing I thought was interesting was the uh, speed of implementation which SAP appears to have implemented all the success factors stuff. And I don't know, your perspective. Okay, so, right, I completely disagree with you because everything that I've read tells me that business by design no longer exists, right? It's being broken up, but it isn't. Well, no, for an SME product. Yeah, 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 SME, yeah, right. yeah, right, okay. And to your point, the only question is how many people do they put on it, right? You don't implement by design in a couple of months. You can't, right? And by the way, according to Zach Nelson today over at NetSuite, they're still a NetSuite customer, so, you know, is success factors betting both ways? This is a very interesting Ooh. question, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> For tomorrow. Shall we leave it there, boys? Let's, Let's leave it at that. Okay, thanks so much, everybody. Take care. Bye.